Hi, I'm Nazanin Hebel, and I uh, was born and raised in Iran in a Muslim family. I went to a private school, which was Armenian, a Greek Orthodox Christian. So uh, from the beginning, I was exposed to Christians. I wouldn't say I was exposed to um, Christ or his teachings, but at least, you know, Christians. Well, the revolution happened, and uh, my dad uh, basically tried to uproot us and bring, it, bring us here. After uh, living in America for about, um, you know, a few years, I met my husband, and uh, while we were dating, we decided one Christmas to, you know, exchange books. Uh, he was curious about, you know, my religion, and I was curious about his. Uh, and uh, we exchanged one Christmas, you know, our holy books, and uh, I gave him a Quran in English, and he gave me a Bible, and that's when the first seed was placed. When my daughter, our daughter was born, uh, we, you know, were talking about faith, and uh, we both decided that uh, we would like her to know more about uh, uh, Christianity and the teachings of Christ. I was very curious about it, and uh, I didn't have the knowledge to teach her, so we um, reached out to my in-laws, and they were coming to, uh, they were attending CFBC at the time, that they still are, and uh, they offered to bring her to every possible thing that they had for kids, as far as Sunday school, VBS, Bible drill, everything. She was here, she was in the choir for the kids. So through her, I learned a lot. She would bring uh, her papers home and I would read them. I you know, was pouring over. There were times that I would uh, drop her off at uh, the uh, Wednesday night worship, the choir that they had, and I would sit here and listen to the uh, pastor's sermon on TV. And uh, gradually, uh, I started bringing my Bible with me and following along. And before I knew it, I was in the worship center, found myself front row with my in-laws watching and listening to this sermon. It was a gradual, uh, basically accepting. Uh, I know that uh, there were times that I would pray the sinner's prayer, but uh, I now, when I look back, I may not have really meant it at the time. There were just words coming out. Uh, but at some point, it was one Easter where uh, I found myself reciting the prayer, but I really, truly meant it. They were not words anymore. They were really, truly coming from my heart, and I truly wanted uh, you know, Christ in my heart. And uh, that's the moment that I think started the whole thing. I was actually ready to get baptized, but uh, my daughter was uh, asking me if we you know, uh, if she could get baptized at age 10. Uh, I don't know why she chose that uh, age, but, uh, and I wanted to get baptized with her. So we waited until she turned 10, and it was, it was as if it was a new beginning. It was a new birthday for, for both of us. The more I read the Bible, the more I realized uh, this, there was a difference here uh, of all the 99 names of God that I had learned uh, you know, growing up, not one of them was love. And all of a sudden, what I was seeing that this is a loving God. He loves His, you know, creation. He, he reaches for us. He reached for me. I mean, it took more than 10 years to get me here, but uh, He did not give up. Uh, I believe that if you uh, love uh, someone and you know they're lost, just keep praying for them and be patient because He does save. He still saves.